Hi guys, remember me? <laughs> I found my tripod. My mini one. I have a little cell phone tripod. And I lost it a very long time ago. Months ago. And I just found it. Um, and I feel like I have a little bit of time right now. I actually have to freshen up a little because I'm going to film another video, um, one of my pregnancy updates from my other channel. And I've been a lot more active there if you are wondering, but I know that that's not everybody's cup of tea to watch pregnancy updates. I, I totally understand that. And I feel guilty all the time about not having videos for this channel. Other than, of course, a couple of collaboration unboxings that I do a month, I don't make the time to make content for this channel anymore. So I had to freshen up my makeup. I actually did it this morning before I went to run some errands, but uh, it, it got, do you ever have days where you didn't do anything to your face? Oh, I did do something to my face. Well, no, mother nature did. Uh, it started raining while I was in a parking lot and I couldn't cover my face at all because my hands were full. So um, that is why my makeup looked atrocious. And I started to fix it. But I thought, no, you show everybody your dirty makeup brushes. It's been a really long time. <laughs> and um, I'm waiting for another video right now to, uh, to render so that I can upload it. And then I have to film another one as quickly as I can because I, I just hate how behind I get on things. Um, I can't wait to have a family just because I can't wait to have a family. But I can't wait to have a family and really not know what it's like to have no time. All of the time that I lack these days is stuff that I impose on myself. So it's obligations. It is, you know, it's my to-do lists. Sorry, I'm going to be doing my hair and I figured I would spare you guys the view of my bare armpits. But anyway, I just feel like I really cram my time full of things. And it's not even that much stuff. It's just... I'm either really bad at time management, uh, really slow because I don't really drink caffeine anymore these days, except for the occasional like three ounce cup of coffee I'll, I'll let myself have if I'm having a day where I really am dragging and can't get through work. Um, and I measure it out, three ounces. I don't have more than that. And sometimes it doesn't even help. So then I feel guilty about doing that. But um, I just, I don't know where my time goes. And by the end of the day, I'm exhausted. And when Mike comes home from work, there are things that I could do. I could, I could keep going and keep editing. I could edit videos or, um, I don't know, just get a jump start on work for the next day or start laundry. But I just want to spend time with him. We're not one of those couples that, and no offense to anybody who is, because I respect it and we have been there. But we're not the kind of couple that, you know, if we're both home, we want to be in separate rooms doing separate things. We want to be hanging out together. Even if we're not really talking, we just like to be in the same room together. And um, he really kind of helped bring that out in me because I used to be the kind of person who would just feel like, well, there's stuff that I should be doing and if we're not going to be talking or anything, why does it matter if I'm in the room? You go ahead and watch TV or play your video game and I'll just do whatever. And um, eventually I learned that there's so much more to it than that. We're kind of in a strange TV slump right now because nothing that we really watch, everything we watch just ended, kind of. Um, we're big Game of Thrones fans, so there's that. We're not gonna have that for a while. And what else do we do we like that isn't around? There's a lot of stuff that we've finished, um, like series that we've watched together. And there's a lot of stuff we don't like. We're not reality TV people. We don't watch, like, I don't know. There's not a lot of stuff that's on that people do watch that we watch. But we did just start, well, not just start. We're, like, halfway through Luke Cage, which we're really enjoying. And, um, what's the, what's the lead actor's name? Is it Mike Coulter? That is, a, that is a handsome man. Oh, my goodness. Um... He was just like made to play a superhero. And honestly, we we were watching Mr. Robot. If you have heard of Mr. Robot, but you thought just the overall synopsis was like 
I have no interest in that. You're wrong. It is so good. We're actually in this strange depressive lull right now because nothing is as good or intense as Mr. Robot was. Um, and there was just, there were just so many different layers and twists and it just really made you think. I don't know. We enjoy that so much. I was even listening to podcasts on fan theories on things and reading subreddits and just really going down a rabbit hole of of things with that show because it was crazy. It was so good. But we're caught up now. So we're trying to find other things in the meantime. And we're just trying to enjoy watching TV and movies together as much as we can because we know we won't really be doing that much. At least not for a while. At least not till we get into a routine. Um, and even then, it's going to take us a lot longer to finish things. I don't know. I don't care about that so much, but we're enjoying it now. So what else is going on? What are you guys up to? What do you guys have going on? What are you guys watching? I'm curious. We are preparing our home very slowly um, for our little girl to join us. And her nursery is coming together. And I don't know, I just... Every every step we take, I feel like it looks good, but it needs this or, you know, once this is done, it'll start feeling real. And we just put the crib in there and the dresser, the dresser arrived partially broken though. So that's going to take a little bit before it looks complete. But just seeing the crib in there, even without a mattress in it yet, and seeing the dresser, even though it's not all all the way put together, there's just, there's some sort of strange, like familiar presence. There's something about that this room, it's coming together, you know, I have envisioned it a certain way, but it also feels really close to what I was picturing, almost like it's a room I've been in before. It's the strangest feeling. Um, and I just get this rush of just happiness and positive emotion when I go in there. I can't wait to share it with everybody. And we really need to um, figure out a, an area rug situation for the living room because we have all hardwoods everywhere in this house. Very creaky hardwoods. So I'm working on that kind of stuff. I do have a question, especially for those of you who had girls. But, you know, I know boy clothes. I know that people have this issue with boy clothes a lot too, but I feel like the accessories and the extra stuff really gets turned up <laughs> when you have girls. Um, how did you organize clothing? If an outfit if okay, if someone gifts you an outfit and it comes with a sweater and a onesie and a pair of pants and a pair of socks that match and a headband and they all go together, how, where, where do you put that? Do you separate it all? I mean, I'm leaning towards obviously separating all the pieces into the category of what they are, but it just feels so wrong. It feels like, how is my sleep deprived mom brain going to remember, oh, there's a headband that goes with this outfit. I don't know. Maybe I just will. Maybe that will just come together. But I wonder about that because as things are coming in and I'm preparing to start separating stuff, I haven't had the heart to do it yet, but as things come in, I look at them and I'm like, I will never remember that this pair of pants goes with this outfit. Like a solid color pair of pants. Um, there's a chance I'll never remember that those things go together. Oh my gosh, my hair has just been so strange. It feels like a different person's hair every day. Like I wake up to a new adventure in my hair. And how, and how much could one person's hair change, really? Um... In the matter in a matter of a day or so I I'm learning it's a lot my hair somehow simultaneously feels damaged and dry but kind of greasy and not damaged like sometimes my ends feel really well nourished and and they feel fine and other days they feel like straw and I don't know why that is I also just realized that um, I'm very close you won't be able to tell with this lighting in here, but I'm getting very close to getting rid of the black box color in my hair. If I were willing to do a major chop, I think that that's all that's left of it. Is this bottom like two and a half-ish inches? Um, I just noticed it the other day when I was out in the sun, and that is so exciting. 
And I guess what I'm saying is the rule should be that you should never ever dye your hair with black box color. I don't care how committed you are to the black. You should have it professionally done, if possible, by someone who can give you a really nice, deep, flattering brown. But just go the darkest brown you possibly can without actually going black, because that's serious. It sticks with you for years. Well, I guess I should stop, because there's only so much more I can polish this turd <laughs> before I have to just make my video and go on with my night, because I have plans later, so I have to hurry up. But. Thank you for hanging out with me for a little while, and I hope that I can make something like this soon-ish if you guys aren't all gone and forgotten who I was by now. My favorite was a comment I got recently where somebody was like, are you using bots to get people to sub to you? Because I don't even know who you are. Like, I did not subscribe to your channel. Which is hilarious to me because I've never, uh, I don't think in the history of my video making I've ever said please subscribe to my channel. Because I won't. I just don't care that much. Um, I'm not going to, I don't know. So she said that but I make such weird and varying videos and then the way I look has varied so much over the years. I don't know. So at some point she subscribed for whatever her reason was and then she saw a video of mine because I make these so periodically that she was like who are you? I didn't subscribe to you, which I just thought was so funny, but anyway. Uh, thanks, mystery girl, who was very mad at me for some reason. <laughs> but, okay. If there's something that you guys would like to see that I haven't done in a while, or that I haven't done at all, um, throw me a suggestion. Maybe I will do it. I guess sometimes it's just for lack of content, not knowing what to say, and I update so much about what things, what has been going on, um, on my weekly updates that sometimes I feel like how much more could I possibly have to say about myself and my life but um but I'll try so thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon bye